The crisis we are facing today does not require of us the kind of sacrifice that Martin Treptow and so many thousands of others were called upon to make. It does require, however, our best effort and our willingness to believe in ourselves and to believe in our capacity to perform great deeds, to believe that together, with God's help, we can and will resolve the problems which now confront us. And after all, why shouldn't we believe that? We are Americans. Those words ring as true today as they did back in January of 1981. I remember these words as a sophomore in high school and what they truly mean, an unshakable faith and the promise of America. President Reagan's message was clear. You can make a difference. You can make our country and our state, as he said, a shining city on a hill. My name is David Osmick, and I want to be your next state senator. I grew up an hour west of the cities outside of Bisky, Minnesota. I had a great childhood and went on to graduate from St. Cloud State University. In 1987, I met my wife Kari and we have two great daughters, Christine and Samantha. We eventually put down our roots in the lakeside community of Mound where we found a small town charm in a suburban setting. I've always been involved in volunteer organizations, from 4-H to Student Senate at St. Cloud State University to all levels of the Republican Party and many more. In 2001, a member of the Mount City Council resigned and I applied for the seat. It was a great honor to be appointed to serve the people of Mount and I've been further honored with being re-elected three times. I've really enjoyed my tenure in Mound, particularly the role of changing the mindset here in Mound City Hall. Our city staff has developed a keen awareness for reducing costs, and that starts with the leadership of the city council. Ever since he was first appointed to the city council, Dave's played a vital role in the great things that have happened in Mound. But most importantly, he's been our lead budget specialist and has led the way for the financial direction Mound has taken. This directly resulted in zero tax increases for the last three years, not to mention a six and three quarter percent reduction for 2012. Yeah, Dave is a true conservative and he actually walks the walk. Dave has been a third congressional district and a state convention since 1998. He is a longtime loyal party activist. He has served as chairman of a number of third district and state convention committees over the years. And I know that when I ask Dave to do something, he will get the job done on time and right. I first met Dave back in 1998 at the Senate District Convention in Orono. Over the years, I grew to really respect his ability to understand issues and get to the heart of the matter. He approached me in 2008 to run for a seat on the Mound City Council and played a major role in my election. He knows the value and importance for getting more Republicans elected at the local government level, and he's been very successful at it. Government can change, but it won't if you elect leaders who are willing to settle for business as usual. There's a powerful inertia built into government that resists change. Government always fights to grow stronger and larger. I've experienced this firsthand. In Mound, we sent a clear message. There's no more business as usual. We have to innovate, we have to consolidate, we have to do more with less. We did it in Mound, and I know with the right leadership, we can do it in St. Paul. Can others say this? Frankly, no. Promises unkept are best promises not made at all. Our nation faces countless challenges today, and these won't go away for the foreseeable future. Federal and state tax dollars come out of our pockets the same as local dollars do. 
we have a responsibility, an obligation, and a duty right now to make decisions that will impact our children for generations to come. We have to prioritize what we spend your tax dollars on. Transportation projects like light rail have minimal impact on reducing traffic congestion and come at a price that will drain money from the real solutions. We need more bang for our bucks. We need Minnesota Smart with every tax dollar you pay to the state, not Washington, D.C. dumb. In Mound, we held our city tax rate flat for two years and actually cut it by almost 7% in 2012. You know what we found out over time? We still plow our streets and respond to fires. We still mow our parks and continue to make improvements on them. Government will change if you make it. I know how to get the job done for you, and I've done it here in the city of Mound. I want to take my analytical approach and Minnesota common sense to St. Paul as your next state senator. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. As a delegate, you'll decide who represents you in the state senate. I look forward to taking your vision of the future to the state capitol.